All right, guys, this is AC service pack. I'm just quickly checking a refrigerant subcooling charge. We have an outdoor condenser and the rating plate. It says it's calling for 15 degrees of subcooling. It does, the system does have a thermostatic expansion valve, so I do know the charging process for this is to check for subcooling. If it had a piston or an orifice, uh, then you would end up using the superheat uh, in order to check the refrigerant charge to see if it's okay. So what you find here is you have 146 PSI G, all right? And then on the outer ring, this is the liquid line, okay? And we have the hose attached to the liquid core. We have a temp probe attached to the liquid line, and that's reading 78.8. The actual saturated temperature, as it states right here, if you follow the needle back to the green saturated temperature chart, uh, it actually says 81 degrees saturated. So 81 degrees saturated temp minus 78.8, okay? Uh, and that gives you your subcooling reading of 2.2 degrees of subcooling. So we need a decent amount of refrigerant uh, to be added to the system. And what's gonna happen is this, as we add refrigerant, this pressure is gonna go up a little higher and then the temperature is gonna go down. So it's gonna provide that gap right there. All right, so your actual temperature needs to be lower than this by about 15 degrees for this particular condenser. Most uh, condensers normally call for eight, 12 degrees of subcooling, then you're gonna get ones that call for 13, 14, 15, um, somewhere in that range where you find that on the rating plate. All right, so we do have to add refrigerant, and this is only slightly lower than that temperature. This one needs to be 15 degrees lower than that temperature. So sub point is the temperature decrease in liquid form. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself. This is AC Service Tech. Check out the channel. Thanks.